What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at using Nerf technology to scan three action figures and import the generated 3D nerves into Unity. I'm also going to be integrating the new Looking Glass SDK 2.0, which is currently in alpha and maybe fly as production by the time that you guys watch this video. This new Looking Glass SDK brings you really cool new features such as a new slider for depth also new ways to create holographic cameras, new quill capture settings, blocks integration, which I'm really excited about, and also a new hologram preview, which is going to make your hologram creation a lot easier and also more intuitive. Well, if that sounds interesting, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into captures at Luma Labs at AI. And these are some of the scans that I already have from the previous tests that I've been running. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and upload a new one. It's gonna be for my 3D action figures. And then I'm gonna designate whether it's gonna be normal or fisheye. And just make sure that you follow the instructions in here when you capture your video. And then just double click on your video and just hit upload. All right, so it looks like the upload finished and it's currently training the Nerf. Once it's done, we're gonna be looking at how we can export it as an OBJ file and import it into Unity. The results weren't as good as I would you know, hope for, but it gives me an idea of what I shouldn't do next time, which is there's way too much lighting on, on this scene. And normally when you're scanning things like this, you wanna make sure that you have, there's more colors, there's more, you know, something different than black, which is what I ended up doing here. Also, I think the light in here is affecting and, and making it blur. Like if I go, you know, close, you can kind of see that it doesn't really give you a really good, Detail. I mean, it's still impressive, don't get me wrong, this thing is super cool. And I can also toggle here the layers and look at the different figures. So I can go in here and look at the mesh. So I think it still is really good. I went ahead and took another scan and just a Predator with a chair that I had here for different superheroes. And you can kind of see that this one looks a lot better. This one, because there's more colors, I think Nerf just does a better job when you don't try to force something to look a certain way. It's impressive, right? This was all generated by using uh, an app. All right, so that's everything that I need to do to clean it up. I could probably have done a better job, but I guess this is, this is progress. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and call it clean and we can just go ahead and export it. And once we export it, we should also get a material. So if we go into that folder here, you're gonna see that now the material remap because we did remove some vertices so the material needed to basically remap to the, to the mesh. So now what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that into Unity. I don't want to drag and drop the old one. I'll just grab the new one and also the textures and put it in a Predator folder. Okay, so now look at the actual mesh. You can see now the Unity has it. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna go ahead and drag it and drop it in here. And it's not perfect by no means, but I think it's, you know, it gives me a good idea of how this looks. Another thing that you can also do is we can also go here into materials, and then we can also extract all the materials. I'm gonna put them in the same folder here. If we wanted to tweak it, we can also tweak some of those materials. So that'll take a little bit of time. Oh, it looks like it wasn't that bad. And then what I can now do is I can drag and basically select all of these different materials. And if you want to you know, change some of the smoothness here, maybe metallic, because this, this you know, mesh has some metallic aspect. I can also change the smoothness if I wanted to. We just do something, something like that, not too crazy. For looking glass, which is a new feature, you can now right click here and you can go into looking glass. And you can also convert it to a hologram camera. So I can just say yes. So if you zoom out, you're gonna see that the character is like really little. So we can also scale the character because the character is just too small. So we can do something like maybe A, A, A. I think the character is pretty big. And then if we rotate it on the Y axis, you're gonna see maybe we just do about 90 degrees on that. That way we're facing the camera and we can just move it down a little bit until we get it in. And you could have, I could have picked something cuter than the Predator. I, I don't know why I picked that character. I think, I, think, I think it just looks cool. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe put it right into framing here. And maybe I'll just move it down a little bit. And you can resize it. You can add you know, different things to it. I think 
this is this is fine so what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go ahead and preview it so you now have access to the show hologram preview you're gonna see and now we get this block and that's what looking glass is calling this it's basically a block that we can share in social media that you can basically it's go it's like a gif replacement but with 3d which I think is a really cool idea and another thing that I can also do here is I'm gonna toggle the preview so you guys can see it. There are multiple options in here that are new. The preview 2D, I think this is something that was already there. We can, we can also do that still. There are a couple of different camera options, which I think it's cool because it's all within the hologram camera. You can change you know, the, the closeness here of the clip factor. So near clip factor can be changed. You can also, and this is good because we don't want it to clip, right? We want it to be able to see that whole thing right here on the hologram. And I can also go far if you had other background objects, you can also do that. FOV, you can also change it in here. The, this option is really cool and it's really hard, hard to explain unless you see the, you see it on the looking glass. Actually it looks good in here, but you can change it. And it's like, it gives you more depth. Like if you don't have any depthiness, I think that's how you say it. It basically is going to look 2D, but as you increment it, it's basically coming out, making it look like a hologram, which I think it's it's really cool, which I'm actually looking at right now on the on the actual device. So I think something like that, maybe about like that, looks really, really good. And another thing that I think we could do in here, and, and you have other options in here, which Quill Capture, there's more settings in here, and I'm not gonna cover in too much detail because I think this requires an entire new video. You can also upload a blog and basically what it allows you to do is put a blog available online and I'm going to be posting a link so that you guys can learn more about that. You can put a description, a title. If I got time on this tutorial, I'll show you that. Another thing that I think is really cool as we're looking at the hologram on, on this device is you're gonna start rotating it, right? So one way that I can do that is if we go into the hologram camera and you scroll all the way down, I can add something called an orbit. And, and this is really cool because it's gonna allow us to, to basically manipulate the hologram as we're testing this. And then I can also do a 3D cursor. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my 3D cursor in here. And then what I need to do is one more thing to make it work is we need to expand the orbit. And the orbit control already has everything that I need. I don't need to change anything. And then what's gonna happen is there, there's gonna be this little pointing thing here that it's going to allow us to move around in real time. And that way we can capture what they call a quilt. And a quilt, all it is, is an image that basically allows you to upload it or a video to the actual uh, looking glass, in my case, the looking glass portrait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. All right, so now we have this guy here and you can kind of see that on the looking glass. And I'm rotating my head because I'm trying to see how it looks. You can see how in the looking glass we can rotate it. And if you think, you know what, that looks okay and you wanna take maybe a quill of that, then you can do that as well, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. What if we wanted to see the entire body? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking a 3D screenshot. So I'll take a 3D screenshot of this. So I'll just do that right now. And when you do that, you're gonna see that it's adding PNG metadata and it's doing some processing. I'm gonna click on this icon in here. And you're gonna see that I have a couple of quilts already generated. This was one that I did with the default, uh, you know, demo that they have. And if I go and close this one, let's go ahead and look at, this was with the one from a Stranger Thing. I think it looks, it looks really cool too. I think I actually published that one. I'll show you that one as well. So you guys can see, and this is the one that I just have right now that I just published. So what I can do now, when I say publish, I already published to the, the local file system. We need to publish it up. So what I gotta do here is I gotta select it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the one that I want to publish. We can just say Predator, Predator uh, character. And then you can add a description here. So here is a demo of the Predator scan. I did with Luma and we can just do something like that that represents what you are actually doing. And I already logged in and already have an account. I'll put the instructions below so you guys know how that works. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do upload. 
and it's going to upload it, it's going to generate a hologram, and now we should be able to see the block. So I think I can do edit, it'll take me to the website. And right now it doesn't look right. And in fact, it's like all the way, it's, it just doesn't look right. The reason for that is because the grading here determines what is going to show. So we can see how many columns we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can just change this to a number eight. And then we also have six rows, so we can change this number to six. And now we have, you know, the actual hologram created. I don't think I did that good of a job. <laughs> this gives you, you know, an idea of how it works. And then I can just do save. And now we have two different characters, right? So if I go here to the stranger thing, let me actually go back and click on this link right here. You can see that this is my stranger thing, a hologram. And I can also go back here and then look at the one that I just did with Predator. And I promise I'm gonna do a better job the next time, but I think this looks really cool because now you can, you know, you can share these holograms on Twitter and it actually is going to look really good on Twitter when you embed it. That's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. And if you wanna get a looking glass device today, make sure that you do that because you're going to be getting $40 off with the link that I'm gonna be putting in the description of this video. And there's also a carrying case, which I believe you can get if you get the looking glass portrait in the next day or so. So if you guys have any questions about Nerf with Luma or any other technology related to radiance fields, let me know because this is really going to be the future. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos with this technology in XR, and specifically with augmented reality. So just stay tuned for more video guys. Thank you.